it is that time of year when everybody's attention turns to Spotify Wrapped because everybody wants to share their taste and show the world what a special snowflake they are because look at me, I listen to everything from Beneath the Remains to All That Remains to Chelsea Grin to Darko US. Look how diverse my tastes are. So I thought, knowing that all of you guys have terrible, terrible taste in music, unlike you, I have great taste in music. You guys, everything you like is awful. Everything I like is great, unless you like the same thing that I like, in which case your taste is also great. So I asked everybody to share their Spotify wrapped with me. So I figured we could go through them. We'll see. Is your taste in music as bad as I thought it was, or... Are you guys going to surprise me? And, and maybe you'll actually listen to some decent music. We'll see. We'll see. And also, I want to thank Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. I'm not a big drinker, but I do like a glass of wine now and then. The problem is that I do not know anything about wine. And Bright Cellars is perfect for people like me. You just take their quiz that matches you with hundreds of different wines from small vineyards all over the world, and then they send it right to your doorstep. Every box also comes with these wine education cards that go into detail about the flavor profile, the origins of the wine, what food to pair it with, the best serving temperature, and all those things things that will help you appreciate these wines. They also have a very cool blog with even more wine knowledge and informative articles. And Bright Cellars also do a lot for sustainability, with a ton of sustainable brands to choose from and the smallest carbon footprint in the industry. And all their packaging is 100% recyclable. They sent me quite a few wines to check out, like this Sprig and Rose Rosé, and this Avast Sauvignon Blanc, and this Silverscape Verde which I think is my personal favorite. And if you want to try out Bright Sellers and support the channel, they have got a great deal. Follow my link in the description of this video to get $50 off your first six bottle box and $20 off your second box. That is a total of $70 off. I got like 600 replies to this or something. So there's no way I'm going to be able to go through all of them or even most of them. But we'll take a look. I see Gregory. Gregory is a idiot here. He's got some Julia Wolf, MGK, Charlie XCX, Taylor Swift, Death Cab for Cutie. I would predict that this guy's a barista. That's my guess. I'm getting the uh, indie barista kind of guy here. Probably immediately goes out for drinks with the people he works with and tries to smash any of the white girls with bangs that he works with. This guy, he's uh, Apple Music. I'm sorry. I can't even review Apple Music. I can't do it. Apple Music, ironically, is like the Android of music. I judge you for it. If you use Apple Music, you're probably the same guy that's drinking Pepsi, playing Xbox, wearing Reebok. You're the kind of person that just signs up to be in second place. Why would you do that? Why would you do that to yourself? But... A good list. Lil Peep, Cold Heart, Pierce the Veil, Fish Narc, and Blank. Solid list, though. Unfortunately, we can't be friends because you use Apple Music. Sorry. The Midnight, Muna, I don't know who that is. Kendrick Lamar, Pusha T in the main. All right. The Midnight, not so bad. Not so bad. I see, I see you out there, Kevin. Got some deep cuts of my most listened songs. A Day to Remember, All Time Low, Bring Me the Horizon, Blink-182, and These Hearts. This guy is uh, straight out of 2014, and I'm here for it. That These Hearts album is actually fantastic. That is a deep cut, and it's great, but I like it. This guy is taking me back to the glory days. I would say 2013, 2014 Warp Tour was the peak of music. It will never get better than that. This guy is taking me right back to those days. I approve. Good stuff. I saw too many cool bro posts. Add some flavor. Howard Shore. I don't even... Who is Howard Shore? Is he related to Lorne of Shore? I don't know who he is. Propagandi, Colette, Kawanashi, and DMX. I, I don't know who Howard Shore is. I'm guessing he's related to Lorne of Shore. I see what this is. The father of a three-year-old. We've got Spirit Box, Volumes, and Encanto. Hey, listen. When your daughter wants the ox, you got to give her the ox. Those are the rules. I don't make them. She's the boss. I respect it. This guy's stuck in uh, 1998. No effects, Alkaline Trio, Lagwagon, Rancid, and Blink-182. This is the guy who's still wearing the Dickies Shants, 
Still got the three colored sweatband. Still wearing his Hurley shirt. I respect it. Still representing mediocre uh, late 90s skate punk in the year of our Lord 2022. Respect. I back it. I don't know what this stuff. This is some like, uh, this is some indie hipster stuff and some jazz from the 60s. Not for me. Attila, Attack Attack, Wage War, Jarris Johnson, and Dream Theater. Okay, we've got some diversity. Attila and Jarris Johnson says, I fuck. Dream Theater says, I dream of someday touching a tit. I like it. And then and Wage War kind of right in the middle. Wage War is like, uh, you know, 32-year-old, like, blue-collar dad metalcore. So I, I, I respect it. I respect it. The man's got some range. All right. Speaking of range, Modern Baseball, Cannibal Corpse, Morbid Angel, Bring Me the Horizon, and Obituary. Okay. So we've got some death metal. We've got some metalcore. We've got uh, some Twinkle Daddy Midwest emo. I can respect it. Four and five for my daughter. Okay. Well, listen, the daughters control the ox. We've got Common Rider. I don't know. Who, I don't know what that is. I, I, don't, I know the name, but I don't know who they are. We've got... Uh, Mariachi El Bronx. We've got some country or something, I guess. And then we've got some The Wiggles. Rocket from the Crypt, Common Rider, The Menzingers, Ladderman and the Gaslight Anthem. Okay, this is definitely a Subaru Dad. No question about that. This is the definitive Subaru Dad playlist. The only thing that's missing would be uh, some propaganda. What's Johnny Gilbert listening to? Okay, Johnny Gilbert has got Never Shout Never. Listening to his own music in number two. I don't know what's worse. Being your own biggest fan or the fact that your own music isn't in number one. I don't know. But either way, Never Shout Never, underrated. I am a huge fan of uh, Chris Drew. Seems like a very, um, seems like he's uh, not doing well these days. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. But Never Shout Never, underrated. Good. I approve Panic, My Couple of Romance, and Elliot Smith. Elliot Smith, also great. So, Johnny, listen, you're like the guy wearing his own shirt, his own band merch at the show, and I respect that, but I need you to at least put yourself in number one. You gotta, gotta believe in yourself more, my man. Come on, stream your own shit a little bit more. What else do we have here? YouTube music. Oh, my God. Ugh, this guy, I use YouTube music like a GD boomer. You sure do. I'm sorry. YouTube music, the only thing worse than using YouTube music would be Deezer. I mean, who uses Deezer? I'll tell you what, you can use Deezer nuts. I'm not even gonna look at this YouTube music. I, it makes, you make me sick, Burning Dan. You make me sick, I'm judging you. I wanna preface that XXX Tentacion is from my son who used my account before he got his known uh, eight or nine months ago. Okay, well, got Chunk, no Captain Chunk, Glaive, XXX, Tentacion, Knocked Loose, and Thrown. Well, I was actually going to say having X on there is is maybe the highlight to me. Uh, so your son has good taste. You, you have good taste too. But you should take your son's recommendations more, I think. This is what I'm talking about. Top genre, Metalcore. And he's got Bring Me the Horizon, Bad Omens, Polaris, The Devil Wars, Prada, and Veil of Maya. We can tell you like Metalcore. This is the guy who says, I listen to everything from Bring Me the Horizon to Veil of Maya to Polaris. <laughs> I listen to everything from Bad Omens to Bring Me the Horizon. I'm all over the place. But I respect your commitment. Glassjaw Apologist has uh, Joyce Manor, Glassjaw, Every Time I Die, Senses Fail, and Prince Daddy. Now, here is a man who drives a Subaru and uh, drinks craft beer, definitely has a beard, definitely wears flannels. Uh, this is just your quintessential Subaru dad playlist right here. My Chemical Romance, Billie Eilish, Marilyn Manson, Gorillas, and Scene Queen. Scene Queen is terrible, but I respect at least the fact that you're listening to something relatively new. So yeah, Scene Queen, really, really, really not good. But at least there's something new on there. Respect. And some Billie Eilish, something that's not metal. All you people listen to is guitar music. I'm disappointed that almost nobody so far has listened to anything other than guitar music. I want to see some diversity here. Come on. Here's some boomer shit. Metallica, Fugazi, Alice in Chains, Kill Switch, Engage, and Refused. Not a single band here that started in this century, my friends. Not a single one. You can listen to whatever you want to listen to. Nothing wrong with it, but come on. Let's get into the 21st century, my man. That's what I'm saying. Metallica, Black Sabbath, Megadeth, Slayer, and Misfits. This guy is still in 1985. Um, and uh, hey, like what you like, but 
you should know there's been a lot of good new music since 1985. You might like some of it. Bad Omens, Zach Bryan, Wage War, Day Seeker, Day to Remember, another, another metalcore enjoyer. This guy, born in the wrong generation. Queen, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Tool, Beastie Boys, and a Tribe Called Quest. Do you guys know there's the R Music Hall of Fame? This to me is like, if you want to just check all the boxes of having extremely basic taste in music, just listen to this. So it's Aerosmith, Arcade Fire, Arctic Monkeys, Beastie Boys, The Beatles, Beck, Black Keys, Black Sabbath, Blink, Bob Dylan, Cake, blah, 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 Clash, Led Zeppelin, Linkin Park, Pearl Jam, Radiohead, blah, blah, blah. I feel like this man right here is the R Music Hall of Fame in human form. Born of the wrong generation. Okay, Polyphia, Gideon, Bring Me the Horizon, Counterparts, Spirit Box, solid list. But again, I'm, I'm like, I want to hear some diversity. I want to see some diversity. You, you people are in a very narrow lane. You think that listening to Counterparts and Polyphia is like diverse taste. Both of those bands are good, but this is like, you know, these are like 30% milk chocolate versus 35% milk chocolate. Got to break out of your lane a little bit. Here we've got Hot Mulligan, Knuckle Puck, Mom Jeans, Joyce Manor, and the Wonder Years. Uh, another person, this guy definitely has glasses and a beard. I feel like this is actually the most problematic genre of music. Like maybe, what, every two or three months, I'll get uh, a wave of DMs of people are saying, oh, did you hear about the guy from this band that did something bad and got canceled? And it's always one of these bands. It's always one of these like nerdy incel emo bands getting canceled. Ghost, Bad Religion, Mastodon, Counterparts, The Acacia Strain. I mean, these are all good bands. I'm just, you know, maybe top genre anime. That's a that's a genre of music? I did not know that anime was a genre of music, but now I know. Zach Bryan, Spite, Body Snatcher, Boundaries and Traitors. I don't know who Zach Bryan is, but um, all the rest of this is deathcore. I call them like the fat guy vocals. The deathcore vocals are going like, argh, argh, argh. I'm assuming Zach Bryan is a country or something like that. So I would I would go heavier on the Zach Bryan and less on the grunty death court. Yeah, fat guy taking shit vocals. Exactly. Okay. Megan the Stallion, Slipknot, Limp Biscuit. I don't know who Lake Kelly for Oh, I do know who Lake Kelly 47 is. Um, my wife likes her. She's like stripper fight music and dope DOD. I don't know who that is. So okay, finally, finally. Somebody who listens to music that's not white guys with beards genting in a colored room or like playing nerdy, noodly, noodly, wheedly, wheedly riffs about how some girl with bangs broke their heart. Finally, somebody with some taste. And of course, it's a woman here. This is a fact. You know why women are the most important market in music? You know why women control popular culture? Because they have better taste. That's three. That's a fact. Women have better taste than men. It's a fact. She kindly asked to be roasted, but no, there's nothing in there to, well, you shouldn't be listening to Limp Biscuit. That's a sin. The rest, I back it. Okay, Joji, Turnstile, Mac Miller, Creed, and Green Day. I respect this. This is a good list. Creed and Joji on the same list. That's what I'm talking about. Now it's starting to get interesting. I want to see a Creed Joji split seven inch. That's what I'm here for. Oh my God. How old is this person? Jesus. White Zombie, Deftones, Pantera, Helmet, and 3-6 Mafia. This is like my stoner, like burnout friend from literally 1995. <laughs> my God. Like this is just 1995 in a nutshell right here. A boomer or a zoomer. It's one or the other. That person is either 48 or 17. Either way, you got to move out of 1995, my man. This is Beavis and Butthead Core right there. Good bands. I like all of them. But you got to move on out of 1995. The world has progressed. Here's some dad shit. Thrice, Rocky Votolato, Bon Iver, The Paper Kites, and AFI. Here's how dad this is. Uh, Rocky Votolato played my friend's wedding like five years ago at some bar in Ballard. That's how you know that you're a boomer is if one of your favorite artists will play a friend's wedding for a favor. Here's something. The story so far, Blink-182, Lil B, Carly Rae Jepsen, and Chief Keef. We're getting there. This person says coolest person in the world. Uh, based on your list, I don't know if I'd say coolest person in the world, but, but definitely cool. 
Definitely cool. I'm on board with it. To have Lil B in your top three artists in the year 20, year of our Lord 2022, I support it. This guy says, I discovered trap metal this year. Top artists are Shush, Last 10 Seconds of Life, Good Tiger, Born of Osiris, and Amir. Well, I don't see any trap metal on there, um, but I'm glad you discovered uh, I'm glad you discovered it. We've got a gentleman here. Mishuga. Explosions in the sky. Vildyarta. Decapitated and dredged. We've got a gentleman in the house right here. Mishuga and Vildyarta. Representing Gent. A day to remember. Frank Turner. Memphis May Fire. August Burns Red. Avenged Sevenfold. Some, some basic scene core here. I'm on board with it. Again, this takes me back to 2014. And I, I'm starting to think that 2014 might have been the peak of human civilization. I used to say it was 2004, 2005, but I'm starting to think maybe maybe 2014 was the peak of human civilization. Uh, the only thing that can make this list better is if we replaced Frank Turner with Skrillex to make it even more 2014. That would be peak 2014 if we had some Skrillex on there. Oh boy, Brett. Oh gosh, this is disappointing. Huey Lewis and the News, Carl Casey, the Agrilites, the Slackers, and Martin O'Donnell. Top genre is ska punk. I should revoke your mod privileges for that. This, I, I'm not mad, Brett. I'm really, I mean, listen, I, that was a lie. I'm a little bit mad. I'm, I'm mostly disappointed, but I'm also, I'm also mad. I'm a little bit mad. Cuba Lewis in the news, I can get on board with it, but the ska stuff, <sighs> I can say that a lot of you guys listen to a lot of generic metalcore which I'm disappointed by. But what I can say is that at least there's a uh, very low incidence of ska so far. At least there's not too much ska. That gives me some hope. All right. I like this. Uh, Adrian, every time I die, that's kind of a boomer pick, but the rest of it saves it. Juice World, Koei Wetzel, Excision, and Prof. The middle three here, I think, are very strong. Juice World, Koei Wetzel, and Excision. That's a good combo. Uh, and the top genre, Screamo. That's what you tell your mom. Like, what is that heavy metal crap you're listening to? And you're like, mom, it's not metal, it's Screamo. Now get out of my room and shut the door. Oh, I hate you, mom. Shout of Intent, Census Fail, Alpha Wolf, Brand of Sacrifice, and Lorna Shore. Man, oh no, let me tell you what. You listen to my Spotify rap, oh, man, you would think I'm crazy because because my, uh, my taste is just all over the place. I'll listen to anything from Shadow of Intent to Alpha Wolf. I'm, I'm just all over the place. <laughs> all good bands. Just, you know, a little samey samey. That's all. A little samey samey. Have fun trying to roast this in good faith. Demi Lovato, I Prevail, Bring Me the Horizon, Bad Flower, and Stand Atlantic. I'm on board with this. Uh, you guys know that I am a Demi stan. So I'm on board with that. I Prevail, Bring Me the Horizon, Great Bands, Bad Flower, Stand I mean, This is nothing to roast here, my friend. Nothing to roast here. I'm on board with it. Oh boy, here's a nerd. Jakob, I'm sorry. Well, he looks like he's probably Polish or something, right? At least we can excuse it based on that. Uh, Deftones, Mushroom Head, Dance Gavin Dance, Kane Hill, and Sleep Token. Jakob, I have bad news for you. <clears throat> I'm officially diagnosing you as a nerd. Check. Okay, check. Either way, I'm officially diagnosing you as a nerd, and that's right. Being foreign doesn't excuse someone from being a nerd. Here's what I would do, Jakob. I would just delete this account, start over, and go listen to some uh, Florida Georgia Line and Future to cleanse your algorithm. That's what I would do. Cleanse your algorithm. Okay, I like this. Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Drake, The Wonder Years, and Sleeping with Sirens. I, I can get behind this list. It's a solid top three. This is the Chad Top 40 listener versus the virgin metalcore nerd that's what this is taylor swift the weekend and drake it does not get any more basic than that and what's weird is that uh in my world it's refreshing to me to meet someone that, that listens to taylor swift the weekend and drake that's what i'm craving please save me from the incels that are jizzing over counterparts every time i die and thrice just can i please Meet someone who listens to Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and Drake. So in a way, being basic, here's here's the truth. Here's the truth, guys. Being basic is the new alternative. Being basic is actually more advanced than listening to weird underground shit. I think Drake sucks. 
I don't like his music, but listening to basic bitch mainstream music like this is actually more advanced than listening to weird underground music. It's the truth. It's the truth. Oh my God. Is it an auto roast if it's a YouTube music top five? Yes. Music personality, the party pioneer, but you've got Denzel Curry on it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please. Uh, I hope, uh, are, are you playing The Sims? Please, never, ever, ever go to a party and put on Denzel Curry when you grab the ox. Oh, it's RuneScape. Okay. Please just never grab the ox and put on Denzel Curry. That's all I'm asking for your own sake and the party. Suicide Boys and number one, Alejandro. I'm on board with that. A lot of people listening to a lot of metalcore. That's what I'm seeing. Bad Omens, Ice Nine Kills, Falling in Reverse, Bring the Rise, and Devil Wars Prada. A lot of metalcore enjoyers. There's got to be someone out there with MGK as their number one artist. That's what I want to see. Who is bold enough to have MGK in their number one? Okay, here we go. To this man, Frosty, I say, hell yeah, brother. We've got Shine Down, Avenge Sevenfold, Motionless and White, Lorna Shore, and Nickelback. Hell yeah, brother. I'll send you an honorary leather wrist cuff out of respect. This man, we are brothers. That's what I can tell. Elvis Presley and BTS. Okay, again, women consistently have better taste than men. Elvis Presley, BTS, Prince, Tokyo Hotel, and Big Bang. Again, women have better taste than men. Here's something. Bill Murray, Insane Clown Posse, Billie Eilish, Maddie Brapps, and Deftones. This person is definitely a nerd. Uh, no question about that. At least not like a sleep token nerd. This isn't just nerd. This is like the overlap of dork and nerd, right? This is like the people, if you listen to Bill Murray, ICP, and Billie Eilish, you're not even cool enough to sit with the metal nerds at lunch. You're like a true outcast, and I respect it. True outcast. What else do we have? I'm looking for MGK. Show me some MGK. Another man stuck in 1998. Blink, Green Day, Alkaline Trio, Angels and Airwaves, and Weezer. Well, Angels and Airwaves wasn't around in 98, but you get the point. Here's the prog nerd. This man, uh, Henry, is listening to Opeth, Porcupine Tree, Ginger, Spirit Box, and Catatonia. All I can say, Henry, is I pray that at some point in the future, I hope you get the opportunity to touch a tit. <laughs> because I can tell, based on what you've listened to for 22,000 minutes this year, no titties in your hands. And that's okay. I just, I hope you get the chance someday to touch a tit. Nothing Nowhere, that's a good one. Bad Religion. Show me some MGK. We're going to keep going until we see somebody with MGK in their number one spot. Cry Wank. I don't know who Cry Wank is, but I want to like it based on the name. Cry Wank is emo folk. <laughs> All right. Where's MGK? Come on. Show me some MGK. You people really like metalcore, don't you? Wow. Allison Chains, Judas Priest, Metallica, Trivium, and Pantera. This is the guy who goes out. He skips class to go smoke out behind the machine shop with the guys who are about to get expelled for failing all their classes. That's this guy. He's 17, but the taste of a 48 year old boomer. Come on, show me some MGK. Whoever has MGK in their number one slot wins this contest. Okay, here's something. Cemetery, Jeremy Soul, Lantlos, Black Midi, and Gojira. Some predictable stuff here, but uh, excited to see somebody with Cemetery in their number one slot. That's uh, solid. Here we go. Here it is. It's over. It's over. This is my hero. This is my spirit animal. We found him. We found him. Machine Gun Kelly. In number one, his top song of the year was Emo Girl. We found him. Jonathan Doss, you are a winner. It's all downhill from here. Somebody's most popular song, which he listened to for 97,000 minutes. He listened to Emo Girl for 97,000 minutes. The unicorn has been found. This man is a legend. He did indeed. He fell in love with an emo girl.